Hello, and welcome to the virtual open house for the Behavior and Health Program. My name is Nancy Lowenstein, and I'm the program director for the, pro for the Behavior and Health Program. And I want to share with you some information to help you make your decision about whether this is the right program for you. So, uh, the Behavior and Health Program is located in Sargent College, which is a small college inside the larger Boston University. You have the advantage of both having the small college experience, because we consider our Sargent College to be like a family within the large urban university and access to all that Boston has to offer, as well as the university. The Behavioral and Health Program is housed in the Occupational Therapy Department at Sargent College. It was developed in 2012 and we graduated our first class in 2016. This program has attracted many students at Sargent, those who come in and undecided about what program they want. We have pre-med students and nursing students and we have students interested in OT. And students are interested in our program because we, we offer a broad range of options for people to complete their degree. Currently, there are 145 students in the program over all four years. We often start with a small cadre of students, usually about 12 to 15 as freshmen, and every year that number grows so that by senior year, the graduating class is usually about 40 to 45 students. The focus of our program is to provide a health-related undergraduate program with a broad and applied focus. We prepare students for entry roles in different healthcare, education, social, and human service organizations. And we also prepare our students to apply for graduate schools in the allied health field, in social work, counseling and mental health and psychology, as well as some of the medical fields, such as uh, medical school, nursing, physician's assistant, and many other areas as well. Public health is also very popular. Why behavior and health? We are a very flexible, personalized program. We want the classes that you take to be meaningful to you and to lead you to a career that is interesting and is what you have your, your mind set on. We encourage students to do minors as well as study abroad. Many of our students minor in psychology or in the Wheelock School of Human Development and Education. They might minor in public health and we've even had students minor in dance because that was something that they were interested in uh, in doing. So all the minors that are offered at Sargent and within um, BU are also offered to our students. We have faculty with very varied backgrounds and clinical experience teaching in our program. I am an occupational therapist. I have my degree in occupational therapy from Boston University. Additionally, we have a faculty member who is a, uh, a rehab counselor and somebody who has their PhD in clinical psychology. But in addition to our faculty, you also have access and will be taught by faculty all throughout Sargent. We encourage uh, our students to explore courses in all the other uh, colleges in and around the university. So we have students who are taking classes in the College of Arts and Sciences, in the Relock School of Human Development. We've had students take classes in the School of Communications and even in our business school, Questrom, Questrom. We do personalized advising. When you enter as a freshman, you will be assigned an advisor and that advisor will stay with you until you graduate. This gives both you and your advisor the opportunity to get to know each other, uh, to be on a, a more personal basis and you can go to your advisor for all sorts of issues that may be coming up, whether they be difficulties in classes, uh, roommates, family issues, or good things that are happening that you want to share as well. We like to get to know who our students are, we write recommendations for them, and we give them guidance in terms of their career choices, graduate schools, and much, much more. Uh, we also encourage students to study abroad. Many of our students, about a third to half of our students will study abroad. Some the most popular places that students like to go to are London and Dublin and Sydney in Australia. But we also have students who go to Madrid, to Paris. I just spoke to a student who wants to go to Singapore. 
and we will work with students uh, to see if we can fit uh, their desire to study abroad into their academic program. And it usually does fit very easily. Another thing that many of our students will do besides a minor is we have several students who do a double major as well. And we've had students double major in psychology and behavior and health, as well as biology and behavior and health. Sargent College also offers many other learning opportunities and opportunities outside of the classroom. We have international service learning trips every summer. These are one to two week trips with faculty members and other students in programs at Sargent College. And the trips have gone to Peru, to Ecuador, to India, to Thailand, and many, many other places. There's the opportunity for students to do an honors thesis in their senior year, where they can uh, choose to work one-on-one -on -one and individually with a different faculty member to write a thesis. We have independent study options, and there's so many research labs within Sargent, as well as within the university that our students work in. Many students will work in research labs outside of Sargent uh, with other professors. How do we differ from other majors? We have a very broad scope of classes that our students can take from many different disciplines. And this is often what attracts students to the behavior and health program. We support career investigation through electives, through your practicum in your senior year, and through your specialty concentration so that students can get a little bit more in depth into an area that they think they're very interested in. There are several core courses that are essential for our major. We have one called Health and Disability Across the Life course, which is like a developmental psychology course. And this takes you through uh, development from birth through death. We have one on US healthcare uh, system because we feel it's very important for students to understand the healthcare system that they will be working in. Three courses specific for the behavior and health majors. One is uh, health conditions across the life course. And here we study specific health conditions that are chronic and we look at how these conditions impact people in their participation and daily lives. There's one on the foundations of health promotion. So how do you put together a health promotion program? How do you change health behaviors? And how do you help other people change their health behaviors? And then we have one called helping skills which is where you learn about interviewing and using those skills, the, the, learning the skills you will need to use in a clinical um, experience. We also have two uh, science courses, lab science courses, and these are usually prerequisites for many uh, programs, and those are human anatomy and human physiology. Two years ago, Boston University decided to go to these six essential capacities and we call it the BU hub. And when this was adopted by Boston University, we realized that the behavior and health program already encompassed most of these uh, essential capacities and we did not have to change our program at all. We're finding that most of our students finish their hub requirements by the end of their sophomore year while taking classes that they find interesting and are a part of the major that they need to complete. In your senior year, students take a seminar and healthcare and practicum. And here students uh, go out into a setting of their choice and work for four to eight hours a week in that setting in order to get more hands-on experience and out of the classroom experience. We help students to find these settings, but they really are dictated by what the student wants to do. So some of our students work in research labs, on campus or at the Boston Medical Center. Some students are shadowing occupational therapists or physicians because they want to go down to uh, PA school or OT school. Some students are volunteering in community settings. So it's very varied what students can do. So you work with your professor in that class to set that up. There's also the opportunity for students to do what we call a four plus one program for a master's in public health. So in their junior year, students will apply for the program. And if they are accepted, then their senior year, they take several courses. And then their last year, they, get, they graduate their senior year with their bachelor's of science and behavior and health. And then they have one more year at the Boston University School of Public Health to finish their master's degree. And oftentimes students might even do that fifth year on a part-time basis, so it might take a little bit more. These are often questions that students have asked us. Who teaches our courses? 
So faculty teach all of our classes. You might have in some of the larger classes, a TA or discussion section led by a graduate student, but all of the lectures are delivered by faculty. Typical class size ranges from 15 to 100 in Sargent College. When you're taking some of your freshman classes, especially the introductory classes in psychology or biology, you will have classes that are larger up to 300, but they always break off into discussion sections and lab sections that are much smaller and taught with um, a teaching assistant. Also, often these classes will have a student who has taken the class uh, be a part of the uh, support system that you will have. And then we have a wonderful educational resource session, uh, resource center that also provides tutoring and other types of help for students. What sets our program apart is we're very focused on humans and how behavior um, is impacted by health. We also um, offer clinical and research in, uh, practicums, and there's a lot of flexibility and personalization for the program for you to have. Other features is you can meet your prerequisites for many graduate programs while still having the opportunity to pursue your individual interests, including a minor. We have their practicum in your senior year to give you out of class experience, and our program works very closely with the BU Career Services to ensure that students are educated in job searching and have up-to-date resumes to assist with graduate school essays. Where do our graduates go? Oftentimes they go to, on to graduate schools and they get accepted in very uh, top graduate schools around the country in occupational therapy, um, speech and language hearing, public health, we have students going on to physician assistant, nursing schools, social work, and counseling and psychology. So our students are doing very well. I would say about um, half of our students decide to take time off before applying to graduate school, and about half probably go straight on into graduate school. I'm going to share a, um, a video with you, but I'm gonna stop for a moment and share this, yes. And um, this is Dagny Barkley, who is one of our graduates of our program. And here's what she did. My name is Dagny Barclay. I am currently a first year graduate student in Sargent's Occupational Therapy Doctorate Program. I just graduated from BU in May from the BSBH program here at Sargent. Um, I'm originally from Phoenix, Arizona, so quite a weather transition, but I have to say the community at Sargent made it a lot easier to transition. Um, I love my time here at Sargent. There's just a lot of resources right at your fingertips when you're here. There's a lot of opportunity to do research, um, be a leader on campus, find a mentor, be a mentor. There's just lots of opportunities here. Um, the curriculum is really well designed. There are, there are lots of foundational knowledge that you'll be able to use kind of in your clinical experience as well as um, some softer skills. So kind of like learning, learning how to listen and actually having the practice of listening to another person and figuring out ticks that you kind of give off um, that you wouldn't really think about, you know, and there's actual class time dedicated to that, which um, I think just speaks to the, the quality of health professionals that Sargent puts out there in the world. Um, interviewing skills, things like that. I remember we had a specific class dedicated to helping skills, which I thought was kind of bizarre when I just read it the first time. But um, looking back on it, those are skills that I use every day in a lot of a lot of different jobs too. They're not even necessarily related to the health profession. Some of them are, but um, I work at a restaurant and I use some of those jobs in my restaurant jobs. Any, um, or I use some of those skills in my restaurant jobs, any customer service jobs, personal care attendance, um, things like that. And I had a great faculty advisor as well. She would always bring us cake and we got, um, we got to hang out with her dog. I would say choosing Lee Sargent just because of the high quality of the programs, but also the smaller community feel of it. Um, the faculty here, I have to say, are really top notch. They really um, mentor you and give you the advice that you need and kind of scaffold your learning in all appropriate ways. And that more so than anything is um, one of the irreplaceable components of the program. So I wanna thank you for joining us, joining me in this virtual open house. Feel free to uh, email me if you have any questions about the program, and certainly visit our website on the Sargent College webpage. It's under the Occupational Therapy.
program. So that's the site that you would go to. Good luck in making your decision. I know this is a tough time for everybody, but I'm sure the decision you make will be the right one for you. Thank you.